I read a book in the 60s. I don't remember the author or the title, but it was green and it made me laugh. Do you know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> everyone, today I'm here to talk about weird things customers say in bookshops and more weird things customers say in bookshops. These books were compiled by Jen Campbell, the lovely Jen who sent both of these books my way. Thank you so much. So this first book is split up into three parts and the first part has weird things that customers say in a particular bookshop called Edinburgh Bookshop. The second part is from Ripping Yarns and the third part is weird things customers say in other bookshops. So that's things that people have sent in from all over the world. The second book is similarly split up into three sections. We have more weird things that customers say in Ripping Yarns Bookshop. Then of course more weird things customers say in other bookshops and the final section is weird things customers say at weird things customers say in bookshops book signings. And both of the books have some illustrations scattered throughout to accompany some of the weird things, quotes, dialogues. I really love the addition of these illustrations because some of them are quite witty and hilarious and just kind of make fun of what is being said. <laughs> so I picked up these books one afternoon and I finished them both in a couple of hours. They're super, super short and really quick to get through and just great if you're looking for something to read that's really light, funny and entertaining. And especially if you're a book lover, a reader, if you work in bookstores, I think you can really appreciate these books. There are some very, very hilarious things that just you'd think people would know. Just really simple things like Jane Eyre, the novel. It's written by Charlotte Bronte. And then you have customers saying, do you have any books by Jane Eyre? Oh, there's one that I freaking love, which is about Adolf Hitler. That was hilarious. A man says, do you have black and white film posters? Yes, we do. They're over here. Do you have any posters of Adolf Hitler? Pardon? Adolf Hitler. Well, he wasn't a film star, was he? Yes, he was. He was American. Jewish, I think. It's kind of hard to believe that those words came out of someone's mouth. You just... You just they, some of the things just seem so ridiculous. Like, you'd think people would know about Adolf Hitler. You'd think, you'd think people would, but apparently not. These books are just hilarious. It had me giggling quite a lot. I really enjoyed reading them. And like I mentioned, if you're a book lover, if you like reading, I think this is something you really appreciate. Just witnessing people, their words, the weird things that they say. <laughs> And these are definitely the kinds of books you can just flick back through at any time, have a bit of a reread over your favourite ones when you're needing a bit of a pick-me-up or wanting to have a bit of a laugh. These are great for it, definitely. I ended up giving both of these 5 out of 5 stars just because I, I really enjoyed these so much. They're just so funny. Just so funny. If any of you have read these books, I'd love to know if you enjoyed this as much as I did. I just... I want more. I definitely want another one. That'd be awesome. Just never-ending. Keep, keep going with the books. Keep doing it. There's a lot of silly people saying silly things out there in the world, I'm sure. But one other thing I want to ask you guys as well is if you work in a store, it could be a bookshop, it could be something completely different, what is one of the weirdest things a customer has said to you? If you've ever encountered some strange things, let me know down below. So I look forward to seeing some of your strange and hilarious comments and I will see you later. Bye!